The goal of this pro class is to discuss with you some of our options when it comes to dimming, controls, and sensors for our retrofit kits and our fixtures. Sensors and controls and dimming are a great way to improve the energy efficiency of your retrofit. Obviously going from your existing lighting technology, whether it be HID or fluorescent or incandescent, to LED is going to save you a lot of energy. But how can you save even more energy? It's through controls. There are two different types of controls that I like to talk about. Basic level of controls and advanced level of controls. We offer a number of basic level of controls. These basic controls are what I'll call standalone controls that don't involve grouping, uh, are very easy to set up, don't involve a lot of commissioning. You don't have the ability to log onto an iPad or onto a cloud system to monitor the system. So they're very easy to use and you can get a lot of energy savings from them, but they're certainly not as advanced and don't offer you the same rebates that the utility offers on some of the more advanced controls. So I'm gonna talk about first basic controls that we offer and secondly, some of these more advanced controls. Our basic level of controls are our new low voltage powered sensors. For example, I have here one of our LED SRs. This is one of our sconce retrofit kits. This is our generation two. This right here is that low voltage motion sensor, daylight sensor. In previous models, we had a line voltage powered sensor that was larger and sat on top of the driver. There are a few really important benefits to our low voltage powered motion sensor compared to our old line voltage powered motion sensors. Our old line voltage powered motion sensors, and many of our competitors still use these today, usually take 120 to 277 volts. They're much larger. The footprint of them is larger because they have the electronics, the transformers inside of them to step down that line voltage down to low voltage. Because our low voltage powered sensor is powered by 12 volts DC coming from our driver, it makes for a much smaller footprint. That small footprint can be really great in very tight fixtures. So for example, with this sconce retrofit, maybe you have a glass lens over here that's very close to the lens. With a larger control on it, it just wouldn't fit or it would shadow. Or even on our, our external drive bar kit or our internal drive bar kit, which are linear retrofit kits for fluorescent lighting, maybe you're going into a really tight linear architectural fixture where again, a large sensor just won't fit. So it's really nice on our low voltage sensors that they're so small, so compact. Second, these low voltage units use significantly less power than line voltage powered sensors. Our old line voltage powered sensor and many of our competitors that still use them use two or three watts just to power the sensor. So that means that if the unit itself, if the LED retrofit kit or fixture is 10 watts on high and you dim it down to a 10% low light level, it would be using one watt plus that three watts for the sensor for a total of four watts to only get 10% of the light output. As opposed to our low voltage powered sensors, which use very, very low power. They use only 0.1 watts. So that means that again, with that same example, if we're on 10 watts on high, and we're dimming it down 10%, it's gonna use one watts for the LED plus 0.1 watts for the sensor for a total of only 1.1 watts. So, so much less power than the really power hungry line voltage sensors. The last great advantage of the low voltage sensor is our cost point is now so much lower than the line voltage sensors. So consult your pricing guide, but you'll notice that the adder for our integrated motion sensors is now significantly lower than it used to be. These fixture integrated basic sensors can actually see through any lens. So whether it's glass or plastic, one inch thick, half inch thick, quarter inch thick, milky or clear, these sensors use a high frequency radar technology that can penetrate right through that lens so that the control can be hidden, out of sight, out of mind, you never see it, nobody's gonna touch it or vandalize it. The sensors come standard, programmed, to dim down to a 30% light level after five minutes of no motion. You can purchase one of our optional remote controls to adjust a number of different things, from your dimmed light level to your hold time. You can have it go completely off. You can activate our smart photo cell so that it 
it either holds it off during daylight hours or in some of our more advanced level of sensors, it'll actually do what we'll call in what's called interactive daylight dimming so that when the sunlight is coming into the space, it'll dim down to a lower level and when it gets darker, it'll dim back up to a higher level. So this remote control allows you to easily commission our basic level of sensor from the floor. You don't have to be right up against the sensor. It can be 10 feet away, 20 feet away, and work behind the lens. So you can purchase that optional remote control and have a lot of versatility to adjust the settings on our sensors. You'll also see here is our fixture integrated control. This is our same control unit that I just showed you, but this is the format for our LBI, the linear transformer. And what we did here is that we put it in a injection molded case with pins on it so that it plugs right into the end of that bar. Again, a super easy to implement control system. Next, I'll talk about some of the more advanced control options out there. The Zinelight Consortium DLC has a category called NLC, Network Lighting Controls. Basically, the purpose of this is to define a criteria, a specification for control systems that are very complex and can do a lot of different things, but that DLC can verify the performance of. So DLC is interested in control systems in order to meet that NLC network lighting control criteria that can do motion sensing, daylight sensing, task tuning, scheduling, perhaps energy monitoring, demand response. So there's a lot of different factors and criteria that have to be included in a network lighting control system for it to be DLC approved. And the benefit of using a DLC controlled system or DLC approved system is that you can get higher utility rebates. Oftentimes, utilities offer different tiered rebates for different levels of control systems, and light efficient design has control systems that meet every tier, from one, which is usually the more basic level, all the way up to tier three. There are a few different technologies for wirelessly connecting or grouping fixtures with an advanced control system. There's Zigbee, there's Bluetooth, there's Wi-Fi, there's really no standard yet for the technology of connecting or grouping fixtures together wirelessly. So contact us, we'll tell you about the pros and the cons of the different types of solutions. Sometimes if the fixture is indoors, you'd want to use a certain type of technology versus outdoors. Sometimes if it's a facility that's really, really busy with a lot of different types of interference, perhaps a hospital, again, there's a certain type of wireless protocol that would work better. So we don't pretend that you should be the expert in the technology. Definitely contact us and we'll walk you through it. A few of the solutions that I have here on the table to talk about today are we have a Lutron system. We have a, and the Lutron uses an RF connection for wireless. We have a uh, LG system that uses Zigbee. So Lutron calls its wireless system the Vive. Here's one of its power packs. This uses an RF radio frequency protocol to wirelessly group fixtures together. And this is a really great system. Lutron is obviously a very well-known name, and we can help embed the Lutron technology into any of the fixtures or retrofit kits that you order from us. Over here on the other side of the table is our LG system. LG uses a Zigbee protocol. There's a number of different components included in the kit. Um, this is a wireless battery operated wall switch. This is one of the Zigbee to analog transformers that we use to make sure that our kits are compatible with the Zigbee technology. This right here is one of the iPads with the little dongle on top of it that allows you to quickly commission the Zigbee system. So whether it be Zigbee or Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and there's a number of different manufacturers from Blue Lutron, to LG, to Avion, definitely contact us and we'll walk you through the pros and the cons of the different systems, which are least expensive, which are most expensive, what options are important to you, and we'll make sure that we choose a control system that makes a lot of sense for your project, maximizes your ROI, is easy to implement, easy to install, easy to commission. So in summary, we have two different solutions for controls. We have that basic level of control that's inexpensive, easy to set up, fixture integrated, low cost. And then we offer a number of different systems, whether it be Lutron or LG or Avion, 
for the more advanced wireless control systems. So definitely use us as a resource when you're looking to design your system. We'd be happy to walk you through all the different options. You can go to our website on a lot of the cut sheets for our retrofit kits or fixtures or even lamps now. You'll see the control options that we offer. And if you want some of these more advanced network lighting control DLC approved systems, contact our product managers and any of our salespeople and we'll definitely walk you through the different options. We really appreciate you attending this pro class. Thank you.